Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have another video for you today. We have a little bit of a different video than normal. Uh, I'm not doing an unboxing today. I am getting into my photo card collection. Um, I want to do more photo card videos in the future, such as like storing and maybe setting up for comebacks and stuff like that, but I figure that really wouldn't make too much sense unless I have like a baseline for y'all to see. Um, so I decided to do that today. So we won't be like storing any photo cards or anything like that. We'll just be looking at my photo card collection as is, as it is right now. Um, these are my three main photo card binders. Um, so this one is Red Velvet and Espa. This one is Just Itzy. And then this one over here is G Idol, Blackpink. And then I also have Soloist over here, obviously Chunga. Uh, judging by the cover there, you know, I collect Chunga, at least a little bit of Chunga. Um, and then I also do, if we have time and I feel like it, um, I have two other larger inclusion binders um, that I will take out and show as well. So let's get into it. All right, so the first binder we have here is Red Velvet and Espa. Um, this is basically an SM binder since they're both with SM. Um, I also have a little bit of Got the Beat in here too. Um, and then just a couple other random uh, photo cards from those particular groups. Um, so let's open it up. So let me adjust for the camera. So I just have these extras here, um, just a couple album stickers I decided to stick in here. These are from Red Velvet's Japanese release Bloom, and then these are obviously from Espa's My World. Um, these are extra postcards that were pre-order benefits for Bloom, and then I think this I, I just got as like a free gift or something like that. So my ultimate bias is Sulgi from Red Velvet. Um, so everything in the front of this binder will be Sulgi cards that I don't have full sets of because I do collect OT5 for Red Velvet. It is not a very extensive collection yet, but I believe I have it fully complete, at least from the most recent ones, um, up until Reve Festival finale. I just completed that one a couple months ago. Um, so everything day two and before, it gets kind of spotty um, since I just started collecting in, what was it, 20, end of 2020, beginning of 2021, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm kind of playing catch up, but I do have all of Soldi's cards. Um, so these are basically everything from the beginning, uh, arranged in release order. Then right here we have just some Got the Beat, um, and then SM Town Palace, which is proving to be very difficult to collect. Um, and then this section here, this is before I still have the OT5 sets complete. This section will be the other members that aren't Sulgi that I have cards of but don't have the full sets. Um, so as you can see, this first full page is Irene cards. And then this page is Wendy and Joy. And then we also have some Joy on this page with Yeri cards. Okay, and then this page is Season's Greetings from this past year. So I have that set up like that. Um, this was actually just an extra. Um, I ordered my Season's Greetings from K-Town for you. And it came with, I think, two full sets of pre-order benefits, which I was kind of surprised. Um, or maybe just one set of pre-order benefits. But it came with this extra card. Um, and I, I don't really know where to put it, so I just put it right here, um, because I had extra space on the page. All right, now we're getting into the full set. So this is the full set for birthday. This is their last release. So the way I kind of organize these is in age order, um, and I just do, you know, member, 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 and then on the next page, member, member, and then, you know, here they didn't do more. I think they did, what, five sets, so that's why I couldn't do another three page layout because the last two sets I just had to do the five page layout right there um, but these are the birthday cards for red velvet um, I think these two single five pages um, I did the cake version and the k-town for you pre-order benefits I think this was these are I think 
eighth anniversary cards from last year. Um, I just have these arranged in like the order they were given to me in the package. Yeah, it's eighth anniversary. So they're not gonna be, it's 27 cards, so they all fit on three pages perfectly, but it's not gonna be like same eras on the same page, which I'm honestly fine with. I've debated about getting a collect book, um, but haven't really pulled the trigger on that yet. Um, this is the one page for Bloom, their Japanese release. This is the only Japanese, Japanese release that I've collected of theirs. I probably don't plan on collecting like Sappy um, or was it Cookie Jar um, unless it's way down the line and I start to like actually make very good headway on this collection. All right, then we get into Feel My Rhythm. Um, so we have Irene, Solgi, Wendy, and then Joy. This is fully complete set. I guess they only did three sets for that one because I guess it was two sets for photo book and one for the Orgel version. Um, this is SMCU Express from 2021. Um, I got the Red Velvet ID cards for all the members and then I got the Red Velvet version for all the members and the SMCU version for all the members as well. So this is fully complete. Um, we are not as lucky with SMCU Palace because those cards are, for whatever reason, going for insane prices. Um, so I am trying to wait for them to come down a little bit more before I dive too deep into that. But I'm slowly buying them. It's just going very slowly. All right, then we have Queendom here. Full sets of Queendom done. Again, I think this was just three sets of photo cards. Um, which I kind of like because that means it's only 15 cards to collect for the whole comeback and that makes it very easy. Uh, then right here we have Reve Festival Finale. Um, so yeah, Finale. I almost wanted to say Day 3, but it was Finale. Um, I think this was five sets as well, so I think we have two pages here of the first three sets for each member. I think I arranged this in, cause they did three sets for, I think it was the scrapbook version and two sets for the regular version. So I think these are all scrapbook version cards. And then these are the regular version cards. Okay, and then Glitter Tear Sylvie, I know that's a popular card. This was also really, these two cards, this Irene and this Joy, these two cards right here were also like very expensive. I only got them recently and I could not find them for anything cheaper than like $30. It was kind of insane how expensive they were. I'm not sure why, cause it's back in print, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Then we have, I think this is Russian Roulette and they only did one set for this. So that's all complete. And then this is ice cream cake, and they only did one set for this. All complete. All right, and then we get into Sogi's solo release from last year, 28 Reasons. Um, she did 12 cards, so I have nine here. And then on page two, I have the last three up top here. And then these two cards are from her poster book that she released. Uh, I think it was last year also as well. I'm not 100% sure. It might have been two years ago, actually. Um, this was a photo card from, I think, the 8th anniversary ceramic set. Um, it's like an enamel... I don't know. I think it's... It's some display, some enamel display for their 8th anniversary, um, but that's what I got this card from. And then these, I didn't get any Pink Christmas random packs, um, but I did buy these because they were very cheap. Um, and I wanted them, and so I have them at the bottom here to complete the page. Then here I just have Wendy and Joy's uh, cards that I got from their solos. Uh, I didn't buy any of these cards except for this Wendy, I think. Um, everything else that's here I just pulled from my albums that I bought. I think I bought a photo book and a case version from both of their releases, and these are just the cards I got. 
I probably will in the future end up getting the rest of these cards, but as of right now, they're on the back burner. All right, and then we get into Monster. This is also fully complete. So Irene had six cards right here, and then Sylvie had six cards right here, and then they also had unit cards and three of these lenticular cards. The unit cards are really, really nice. I like those. Cute. All right, then we move on to Espa. So as I mentioned before, SMCU Palace is going very slowly. Um, these two cards, I believe I pulled, and I think I also pulled this card. Um, but these two Karinas I bought because I found them for a relatively good price compared to what she is going for. Um, because she, her got the beat cards and her SMCU Palace cards are just like, insane prices I, I don't know what's going on there but they're insane and i'm not willing to pay that much unless they drop a little bit more um, but i got these two for a relatively good price um and then i also have these from smc palace um in an effort to save space i kind of mixed up releases here so these are actually the k-town for you pre-order benefits um from the My World release that they just had a couple months ago, um, and they just fit perfectly right here, and then with the rest of the SMCU Palace cards that I have, um, that's on this page. And obviously I have these here because what we're going to see next is My World. So we have My World completely complete. Um, I just have it arranged on, I think it's three or four pages, just in this eight um, circular pattern or whatnot. Um, so I just have them oldest to youngest right there and then oldest to youngest right here. And I have them arranged by their colored backs. Um, I really liked the backs for my world. Very vibrant colors. Digging that, digging that. Um, oh, and then these were the I guess trading cards, maybe is what they were called. Um, and then these are Polaroid versions for each member as well. I forget what version, like album version those came in. Um, those are pretty cool, I like those. Um, then this is, what release is this? This is the release after Savage. Girls, This so this is the girls release. That's not what the album was called, was it? No, it was called Girls, okay. All right, so this is the girls release. And again, I just have these arranged the same way. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, for my world, I did not bother collecting any, like, American exclusive, um, photo cards for Espa. It was just, because I did for girls, and it was, like, very annoying after a while. I just, I, I didn't want to do that for my world. Um, so I didn't buy any albums from Target. I didn't buy any from Barnes & Noble. I think they were doing photo cards as well there. Um, I'm happy with just my Korean print photo card sets. Um, but you will see here, for girls, I do have American exclusive from Target uh, cards as well. And that's what these are right here. All of these are, because they did two sets of Target exclusive cards, and that's what these are right here. Cool, and then we have this last set of girls, the Polaroid version. And then I also got these when I bought the light stick. It was a pre-order benefit, um, so I got the light stick photo cards for each member. Then we have a full set here for SMCU Express, arranged in the same way. Actually, it's not technically a full set because I don't have the SMCU version for all of the members. I haven't decided if I'm gonna collect those yet. I haven't really looked all that much for them, if I'm being completely honest, so it might just stay like this, um, but we will see. Then this one is the Savage release uh, that came before. So I have full Savage collection right here. These are lenticular cards. I arranged them again by their backs, so the backs would all match up. And then this last page here is all the Got the Beat cards uh, that aren't Sylvie that I have. I just recently bought this Karina and this Winter. 
Um, I saw this Karina for like under $15 and that's the lowest that I've seen that Karina. So that's why I jumped on it. Um, but man, all her other cards other than the SM Mini or Smini, whatever we've decided to call it, they're going for insane prices. I, I, again, I don't know what that is, but um, that's that. Um, so that was my Red Velvet and Espa binder. I guess next binder I will move into will be Itzy. All right, so next binder we have is Itzy. Um, as you can see, the cover is a little bit more creative than my Red Velvet and Espa binder and probably all my other binders, if I'm being quite honest. Um, I just have a lot of like extra freebies that I've gotten over the years from Itzy, so that's why I decided to just kind of put them all together on this cover. Um, and I think, it look, I think it looks nice, so you know, I'm cool to roll with that. Uh, maybe for the other binders someday I can make, you know, uh, binder covers for those. But at this point in time, I don't have enough, you know, freebies from all those other groups. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the inside. I just have this one extra Leah right here. Um, but then these are my cards for Itzy. So I collect OT5 for Itzy. And other than their most recent comeback... And for Crazy in Love, it is a complete collection, uh, as far as their Korean releases are concerned. I don't collect any of their Japanese releases, uh, even though I want to. I just, my wallet was like, no, don't do it. So I, I didn't do it. I actually have the rest of these Crazy in Love cards because these are kind of just a mishmash right now. Um, this isn't how the binder is set up. Uh, these are all not set, so that's why they're at the front. And that's why I set up my binder this way. So yeah, anyway, I have all the other cards um, for Crazy in Love coming in very, very soon. It'll probably be in my next buy uh, package that I get. Um, so these are the cards that I have for Crazy in Love that are incomplete sets. Um, I think I'm waiting on maybe like Aaliyah... Um, and two Chadyungs, I, I can't remember, but it's, it's very few cards. Um, then I have the light stick cards here. I think I just bought these like on a whim cause it, they were selling as a full set and they were really cheap. So that's why I kind of just went for them. Um, I also just realized I said light stick when it's not a light stick, it's a light ring. Uh, but I digress. Uh, this is just an extra Make Star card because you'll see later, but I bought a Make Star set for Cheshire, and it was a Make Star set of Chae Young's two Make Star cards because Make Star did two different sets for the Cheshire release. Um, but I only wanted the one set, but I still bought this set. I haven't decided if I'm selling this Chae Young card, but for now I'm keeping it right here. Um, and the other set I have back at the back of the binder um, where Cheshire is all right and so then I have it arranged basically the same way I had red velvet arranged because it's is a five member group um, so I just did the member um, from oldest to youngest and then you know all three sets and you know up and down across etc etc I arranged them at least for icy uh their borders right here because all their backs are actually member specific backs so the backs are the same for all the members but not the same for different members if that makes sense um and they only did five sets i could buy the pre-order benefit cards to make it a full six but i don't think i save a page by doing that anyway so i might not do that um but these are the full ic sets move to wannabe and wannabe is arranged the same way um i guess basically the same way because they started doing unit cards for wannabe um so i have the first unit card here i just arranged the unit cards based on age so like yeji and leah are the two oldest and then obviously i just work my way down from there so like yeji and rujin yeji and chaedyong yeji and yuna and then you start with leah on the next one um so I've got all the unit cards for Wannabe. Uh, I really like the backs for Wannabe. Those are my favorite uh, backs for an Etsy release. One of my favorites. Um, then we get into Not Shy. Arranged the same exact way. They just did three sets and then ten unit cards. 
So we arrange those the same way. Then for Guess Who, I actually don't think they did unit cards for Guess Who. Um, but I have them arranged like this. I think these were, I don't know if those are pre-order cards. I think they called them hidden cards. I don't know if they were pre-order or not. Um, I know these cards are limited edition, right? Yeah, because they say it on the back. Um, these might also be limited edition, I think. Um, but this is, they're by themselves, because I had, I think, seven sets of Guess Who? So, yeah. Um, Crazy in Love, this is what I have for Crazy in Love. Um, it's, it's basically complete, that's why I have it back here. I just don't have the special edition and limited edition cards complete, but like the album cards, all six sets of those are complete, so that's why I have them back here. Um, and I'll obviously move the limited edition and special edition cards back here when I get them. All right, and then we have three sets for Crazy in Love here. So these are actually, this is one set for I think the special edition that I have complete. These are the Target exclusive cards, um, which you get a full set in each album you buy. And I think I bought two albums from Target. Um, so I actually have quite a lot of, set of sets of these. I think I probably have, I don't know, three or four, even though I only bought two. I think there was an album I bought from Barnes & Noble too that had this set in here. So maybe it wasn't like a Target exclusive set. Maybe it was just like a US print set exclusive. I don't know. Um, but then I also have these. I think these were... Mm, no, these were... It was... I think it's With Mew now. But they used to be called With Drama. So I think these are With Drama pre-order benefits. Um, I didn't order any albums from With Drama. I just saw these cards and I was like, where are they from? And I I had to get the full set because they're just so, so gorgeous. Like, and I, I'm a sucker for hollow cards too and they're hollow. So um, I had to buy the full set and just add them to the collection because they're really, really nice. All right, and then we get into Checkmate, I believe that's what this is. Yes, it is Checkmate. Um, Checkmate is ordered basically the same way. Um, I have, oh, okay, I see what I did here. I remember what I did. So these are unit cards. Obviously I don't have any more um, member specific cards to put on these rows. So in an effort to like save me uh, pocket pages, I put them on each open space of the second page of each of the sets. I don't know if what I just said makes sense. I, I hope it did. Um, but yeah, they're gonna be on the la on the second page of all the sets that I have for Checkmate. Actually, I have these around the corner here. And then these are the K-Town For You pre-order benefit cards for Checkmate. Okay, and then we get into Cheshire. And Cheshire, there was a lot of cards for Cheshire, dude. Like, please. I loved Cheshire as a comeback and as a song and as a mini album. It was great. But can we please never release this many photo cards for one release for a five member girl group ever again? Please, JYP, I beg. Because literally Cheshire, like, I think all of this might be Cheshire, dude. Like, it, it was that much. Um, it took a little while to collect. Um... And I didn't even collect that many pops. Like, as you can probably tell, like, I don't get a lot of pops. I mostly have the K-Town For You pops, um, which is what these are right here. I believe these are K-Town For You pops. Um, so, like, I, 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 I don't know why they decided to release so many photo cards. Um, especially in the limited edition and special editions, too. That was, that was insane. Um, I have the unit cards set up like this. Just five on a page right there. Then these were, I think, the limited edition and or special edition cards. Um, 
Uh, this was the special edition. So these were... No, these were limited edition. These are... I don't know. I I'm confused. Um, but yeah, they did three sets for each the special edition and limited edition. So I was kind of just like, bro, can we stop? Oh, and then they also had these message cards. Um, I didn't open any of them. So I, pref I just preferred to keep them in their like original form. Um, but it, there's like a little slit right here, like if you rip open, you can see this one's kind of ripped a little bit. It just kind of came like that, but if you rip open, there's supposed to be like a hidden message or something like that. Um, and then the last page is a Cheshire. This is what I was talking about earlier with the random Chade Young that I had at the front of this binder. Um, this is a Make Star, this is a Make Star set that I wanted. One, because they were hollow, and two, because my favorite color is blue, and I just absolutely love the blue background on all of these cards. Um, so that's kind of why I, I had to go with this. Um, but that Chade Young, I had bought, the order that I had bought, it was on Bai, was selling both Chade Young's um, Make Star cards. So that's why I have that one random Chade Young. All these others I bought individually, but that is the mixed star collection that I have for Cheshire. So, as you can see, that is it for the Itzy binder. Um, the next binder will be G-Idol, Blackpink, uh, and some Soloists. So let's get to it. Okay, we're getting into the last binder here. So we got G-Idol, Blackpink, and Soloists, and I have Chunga as my front cover here. This was just an album inclusion that I decided to stick on the front cover here. All right, so we have this extra Chunga, I think, that I just have lying there. Um, so for G Idol, my collection of theirs is not necessarily complete. I'm kind of just collecting what I want to collect when it comes to them. Um, they're still one of my favorite groups, and I do go out of my way to collect full sets of theirs. I just don't have full sets of all of their releases. Um, so in the front here, you will see cards of the members arranged in age order um, from sets that are not complete. Um, so for example, we just have me on here um, for, I think this is Oh My God, this is Hua, this is I Never Die, this is also I Never Die, and then we also have me on for her solo release, uh, My. And then on page two, um, I have many, um, interesting story about this card. I actually bought this card by accident because for their most recent release, um, I thought this was a different card basically. So this is actually a lucky draw card. Um, I don't know if it's a real lucky draw. It looks like a real lucky draw. That's why I stored it. Um, I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I've never had a lucky draw card. Um, I figure I'll just keep it for now, but I got it at a good price. That's why I, I bought it. But like my intent wasn't to buy a lucky draw card. It was to buy the album card that like looks like this from the photo book version for I feel. Um, so yeah, just an interesting story about that one. Um, and then I think this is a Sujin card. And then this is obviously also a Sujin card. Um, these are my only two Sujin cards that I have, and that's because I pulled them from the albums. The only OT5 collections of G Idol that I've collected so far are, um, what is it, I Love and uh, I Feel. So anything before that, I'm not planning on collecting for G Idol at all. And obviously, Sujin, unfortunately, was not a part of the, most, the two most recent comebacks that I've decided to collect full sets for. Um, so for now... I just have this one Sujin card, which I plan on keeping, because I think it's a good keepsake. And then just a seven page here um, with some Ugi and Shua. Um, then this is a full set collection for I Love. Um, I wasn't originally planning on collecting a full set for I Love, but I just loved the mini album so much uh, and the concept so much that I just decided that I had to I had to go all in. So that's why I have the full sets here for I Love. We have all the photo book versions and all the jewel case versions um, for all of these cards. 
These are the jewel case versions, I believe. Don't even get me started on this Shua. It took forever to find this card. And even when I did find it, I didn't believe it until I actually had it delivered to my house. And I couldn't believe I was holding it after it was delivered because it is real. And that card is so rare. I only saw this card in one posting and that was the order that I got it in. Um, this card was also kind of expensive too, but the jewel case, which of course they decided to do for I feel as well, I, I hope they they stop doing jewel cases because those are incredibly hard to find. We have the K Town for You pre order benefits. I did two sets um, because you got one set um, per each album that you bought, and then you also got another set um, if you signed up for I think it was like online fan meeting type deal um, for each album you buy. So because I bought five and I signed up for the online fan meeting or whatever, I got two sets of the K-Town For You pre-order benefits. And this is I Feel. Um, this is almost complete. I'm still trying to find, I think, three more cards, which you will see placeholders for. But I think the regular versions are pretty much done. At least for like the actual photo cards. I think I'm missing some ID cards and Polaroids and stuff like that. Um, but for actual, you know, selfie photo cards, it's pretty much complete. And then these are the Polka versions. Then these are the photo book versions. This is the mini card that I got confused with. I bought the peace sign mini lucky draw instead of this card and I bought this card later once I realized the egregious mistake that I had made. Yeah, so I have this set up, um, Oogie photo book two and three and then Shuha photo book three I still haven't gotten yet. So hopefully I can find those soon, um, sooner rather than later because I don't want that to turn into an I love jewel case situation. Um, but we have Polas here, obviously missing Minnie's Queen Pola here, which I have a placeholder for, and then a couple Shua Polas that I'm also missing. Um, they're readily available, I see, online. I just haven't bought them yet because they're kind of just on the back burner. Um, same thing with the ID cards. I'm missing a couple ID cards, as you can see, my placeholders here. But I love is basically complete. Um, these are the K-Town For You pre-order benefits, again, for I Feel. Um, and then these are QR cards from the Polka version albums. Um, I'm not collecting the QR cards from the Polka albums. Like, that's just not happening, Chief, because that's way too many photo cards. Um... But I'm at least keeping these four that I got. I actually bought six, and I got two duplicates, so that's why I just have these four here. And the two duplicates are in my uh, selling binder, so yeah. Okay, then we have Chunga. Um, I don't collect all of Chunga's cards, but I do collect a fair few of them. And she puts a lot of cards in her photo albums anyway, so it makes it kind of easy. Um, for example, like I think Play is all complete because she just put all four photo cards that she did in the album. So that was pretty easy. Um, these are just the photo cards that I pull from the albums. I think I've only bought a couple Chunga photo cards. Um, one of these sets for Quincia I pulled from the album because she did four photo cards per album and only bought one. Um, but then I just bought the other four like in a set online somewhere um, afterwards to complete the full eight for Corencia. So Corencia is actually complete. Um, and then I have one for her Killing Me release. And then I did get four, I think, total photo cards for Bare and Rare, which is her most recent release. And then I just bought, I think, maybe like two or three more just to like fill out the page so the page was full um so that's why it's kind of like uneven in terms of like you have one killing me photo card here but then the rest is bare and rare um and then i arrange the backs so that they kind of line up like that so 
So next is Blackpink. Um, Blackpink, I don't fully collect. So none of these sets will be like complete. At least none of the album sets will be complete anyway. So a lot of these, actually I think all of these are just photo cards that I've pulled. I don't think I've bought any Blackpink cards to my knowledge. Um, but the Born Pink release, you'll see a lot of Born Pink cards because I did buy a fair few amount of albums there. Um, for that release. So all of these are born pink and then they also did pre-order benefits um, So I got all of the K-Town for you pre-order benefits as well And this is a card. Um, I think Lisa. Yeah, Lisa's on the next page, but this is a Card that came with my light stick. I think when I ordered the light stick I don't even think it was supposed to come with a card. I think it was just maybe like a free gift or something like that. Same thing with the Lisa. Um, and these two pages had empty spaces and I didn't want to just make a new page for just two cards. So I have them stuck in the middle there. Um, these are the cards for the Black Pink In Your Area Weverse membership kit. So in the membership kit, you get two photo card sets and these are the two. All right, and then this is Jisoo's solo release, Me. So once again, I don't believe I bought any of these. These are literally just all the cards that I pulled from the albums. Um, I did buy, I think it was two of the standard albums, uh, two of the YG Select, one kit album. And then you just saw my last unboxing, I did get the um, vinyl album as well. Um, I haven't put that photo card in there yet, uh, or in here yet, but um, yeah. And then I have K-Town For You pre-order benefits as well, which K-Town For You kind of went crazy with the pre-order benefits. Um, so yeah, I also bought one of my albums, one of the photo book albums for Jisoo um, from an eBay seller who had YG Select pre-order benefits in the listing. So like if you bought the album, you would get the YG uh, Select pre-order benefits. And so that's why I have a couple of those. I think, uh, I was gonna say maybe this one, but I think that's not one. Maybe it is, I don't know. I think these two might be YG pre-order benefits and these two, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, oh yeah, they definitely are. Because they have the, um, what's it, barcode on the back here. Um, oh, also, I didn't even go over. These are, um, I have Lisa's photo book, volume three and four. Um, and these are just the photo cards that came with that. So I have those at the end here since there was room. I have my very modest Lay Seraphim collection. Um, when I say modest, I mean this is literally it. Um, I only bought all three versions and two, I think, of the case versions for their last comeback, Unforgiven. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to collect Lay Seraphim yet, um, but I'm keeping the cards here just in case I decide to. Um, I've seen and heard the like anti-fragile photo card prices are kind of expensive, um, so maybe I'll research that a little bit more and decide whether or not to do that um but yeah i think maybe these two, i know these two are target exclusives i think because i bought my albums at target um i don't i actually don't know which ones are the target exclusives but yeah that's all i have for lay seraphim so we're gonna decide if i'm gonna collect them in the future but for now tbd so next I have Everglow, and again, this is a collection where I just kind of keep what I pull from the albums. I don't go out of my way to buy any of the photo cards um, that I don't have. So I just have them arranged in age order, I believe, and release order. Um, I'm also very, very excited, and you will see an unboxing on this channel probably very soon for their most recent release, All My Girls. I think it's been, oh gosh, like, two three years on hiatus um it's it's been a minute but i'm glad everglow's back i'm glad they're making music again even though it's just a single album they only released i think it was like three songs um but 
we got new music from them and they also just announced a US tour so I'm excited for that too I'm gonna try to go to one of those shows um, so I'm just I'm really excited for Everglow right now they deserve all the success in the world after what they've been through I mean let's be real here all right then I also collect Alexa um, I collect her full sets from all her albums except her debut album and that's just because I was too late to the Alexa train in terms of like, you know, not necessarily being a fan because I had listened to her music. It was just like I didn't start collecting albums until like the end of 2020, early 2021. And by then her debut album had already been released, um, you know, already out of print. It hasn't come back in print. So it's like, at least right now, I can't find any resellers selling like used albums and stuff like that. So I kind of just missed the boat there. Um, but I do have all of her photo cards after her debut release. Um, so Girls Gone Vogue, I have the full set. And then this is full set for, I think it's extra, and then full set for tattoo. And then besides Alexa in the back here, I also have two card photo cards. I've only bought one of their albums to date. I think this was their release. What was their release before Cake? Was it Gunshot? I think it might have been gunshot i don't know um but these are the two photo cards i got in that album and i just decided to keep them so i got jiwoo and bm but that is it for my photo card binders um i actually do have a collect book which i'm gonna probably grab right now just to show you there's only like three photo cards in it um but i'll grab that right now just to show you real quick all right, so we have this little red velvet collect book here. This was a, I think, merchandise release for Season's Greetings. I actually only very recently got this. I think it released in like, I don't know, April or May or something like that. And I just got it maybe like two weeks ago. Um, I bought it from a US retailer and they probably just didn't get it till like really late. So that's probably why it took so long. Uh, but this is a collect book. Uh, it's front and back on the inside in terms of like um, sleeves for storing photo cards. So it can hold up to 20 photo cards, I believe. Um, but this is the cover photo card that I have. I think this was just the cover photo card that came with this collect book because it did come with the photo card. Um, and I got Solgi's um, version, obviously. So I got Solgi's photo card. But that's the cover. Ooh. And then on the inside here, I have another Solgi merchandise card right here. And then on the back, I just have another Solgi merchandise card. Um, but then obviously, as you can see, there's more pages that you can load up front and back that you can do. Um, I haven't really fully decided how I'm gonna use this collect book. I think it would be a good like merchandise card collect book just for like Solgi, because I will probably buy you know merchandise releases just specifically for Solgi like I won't get full member type deal or anything like that um, but I do think this might be a good collect book to use for the Solgi photo cards that I get so yeah that is all the photo cards that I currently have um, except for the ones that I haven't put away yet I have maybe like I don't know between 40 and 50 plus whatever I get in my next buy -E package which I will save for a video, hopefully, and do a video on that. Um, but for now, let's get into the large inclusion binders real quick. All right, so this is the first of two larger inclusion binders that I have. In this binder, we have Red Velvet and Itzy, and this cover is just a 28 Reasons Solgi photograph inclusion. Um, so I don't collect large inclusions like super thoroughly i kind of just store what i get from the albums that aren't duplicates um so this first binder here is just red velvet and itsy i have just around the key the key ring here um from itsy's last comeback kill my doubt um and i have this arranged obviously red velvet first here since you see solgi right here um and then i have this released or I have this arranged in release order, most recent being the one that's on top, basically. Um, so these are Seasons Greetings items, um, right there. 
Then we get SMCU Palace. Very nice. Then we get into birthday. So we got the Polaroids that I pulled from my albums. I bought all the digi packs, so I got all of the uh, member specific digi pack posters or mini posters. Then we get into that's Bloom and then Feel My Rhythm. I got a couple bookmarks here. I actually bought, what was it? I bought four Feel My Rhythm photo book versions and I got Wendy or Joy bookmarks in all of them. So that's always great. Um, I say that like it's not good to get a one year jewelry bookmark. I don't mean it that way. I'm just saying the duplicate part is not great. Um, and then we got SMCU, what was this called again? Express, SMCU Express. Um, and then Sogi and Wendy bookmarks from Queendom. More postcards from Queendom, Sogi and Irene. Obviously I arranged these in age order as well where appropriate. Um, so Wendy and Joy. And then we got uh, more Queendom postcards and then one finale postcard right there. Um, got day two stuff here. This is actually kind of not going well. Um, and then this is trying to come out a little bit. Oh well, we'll just be careful when we flip the PDJ. All right, and then we got um, some Joy uh, solo, solo release, uh, Polaroids from Joy's solo release. And then we got Wendy's solo release here. And we got Irene and Sylvie with Monster. And that's all of Red Velvet. Um, so moving on to Itzy, this is all of Itzy. Um, I haven't put away the larger inclusions that I got for my special editions. But everything from my original unboxing on this channel with the regular versions, the digipacks, the cassette, um, and the limited edition version, that is all stored in here. So everything in here is what I pulled from those albums. So we got some of the mini photo cards, postcards. We got the tickets here. More postcards. Postcards. This is from the limited edition, I think. But um, this came in like a accordion style. So I just, I mean, they're supposed to be postcards. So I, I ripped them apart so I could store them. Because um, I think that's what they're meant to be done to them. Um, these are mini posters from the Digipacks, I think. Um, I had three separate ones, I guess, so that's why I decided to organize them that way. Uh, these are the mini photo card or circular photo cards that you can punch out. I just decided to put the whole thing in here just because it would be easier. Um, we got some Cheshire stuff now as we move into Cheshire. Um, got the clear postcards. I think these are Target exclusive postcards. Uh, you saw my duplicate of this on my it's the photo card binder on the front because uh, I got a duplicate of that. Um, this was a folding poster, mini poster, I think, from maybe the limited edition. I can't remember. Um, then we got the full set of these larger, I guess they're photo cards, square photo cards from Checkmate. Then we got two postcard sets. Um, postcard set came in every single album and they only did two so it was very easy to acquire all of these because I bought I think it was six albums for Checkmate three Korean Press and three Target um, these I just have they're full size but they don't fit like on a full 8 by 11 page or whatnot so I just have them folded uh, so they can, we can put two in there and so that you can see their face. Um, cause I wanted to, this is an effort to just like save the storing sleeves, you know, I don't, I want to get too crazy. Then we move into crazy in love with these inclusions. I think these were from 
maybe the limited edition, the photo book version, I think. But these are stunning. I forgot how stunning these were. They all look great in these photos. Then we got the standees here. And more mini photo cards, square photo cards. I think I tried putting these in a nine pocket page and they are literally like two millimeters too wide. So I had to put them in this like five pocket uh, large inclusion page, which is slightly annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Um, then we have Polaroids. I think I have all the Polaroids, except I'm missing both of Leah's. Um, so we get into Guess Who. I kind of just arranged this the same way I did with Checkmate in terms of the mini posters. Um, I had them folded just so you can see their face. Then we got the pre-order benefit wanted posters from Not Shy, the full set. At least I think these were a pre-order benefit. Then we have, this was Wannabe, um, and these were, I think I, I think I got a duplicate Rugen because I, I got all three versions, and I think you got one of these like big postcards that, like in each version, and I think I pulled a duplicate Rugen, so that's why I only have the two in here. But I got Yeji and Rugen. Um, but that is the Red Velvet and Itzy collection, uh, or large inclusion collection. Um, so let's get into the last binder. All right, so this is my last large inclusions binder that I have. I just have this labeled other girl group inclusions. So I actually don't fully know what's in here other than like maybe G Idol is definitely in here. Um, but this is my very creative front cover. I just have this one like postcard of Jenny sitting right here. Um, I definitely need to try to find a better cover solution for this. Um, I do have this one duplicate Oogie sitting up front. It's a postcard, um, just cause I don't really know what to do with it. But, um, so on top here we have G-Idol and it's arranged in the same way, um, where it's the most recent release first, and then obviously an age order where applicable. Um, so we got some postcards there, then we got some mini posters here. I actually didn't realize I had that many different mini posters. I totally forgot that. Um, then we move into I Love. These are all the stamp sets. And then I do have a lot of film strips here. I actually surprisingly got a lot of variety with my film strips and all the I Love albums that I got. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, then this is I Never Die. Couple postcards, couple like mini square photo cards. Um, I didn't feel like they belonged in, in nine pocket pages, even though they could probably fit. Um, they just weren't big enough in my opinion. And we got a couple other like magazine postcard type deals. Um, then we got some I Burn inclusions right here. Then Dum Dee Dum Dee. These are the large square photo cards um, for each member. I think there's two sets of these, maybe. Um, oh, we get unit ones here in the back. Yes, there was two sets. Because they did a day and a night version, I remember. One was yellow and one was purple. units at the back here. Um, I think these two are also dum de dum -dee. And then this I know was the second release that they did. Um, this is actually a photo card, but it's just like a big photo card. I don't know why Cube decided to do this. They made the photo card like too big to fit in the nine pocket page. So that's why I have it back here, but my photo card pull for this particular album was mini. Um, and then these are just other inclusions from the albums. I think this is an inclusion from their debut album. Um, 
and then we have a couple solo inclusions for Mion and Soyeon here. So this is obviously from Windy, and then this is from Mai. All right, looks like we get into Espa then. So this is from, these are my large inclusions from my world, I guess. Um, oh, they're double-sided. Totally forgot that. So again, just arranged in age order. And these are more than one. I just have them like stuffed in the same pocket so you can see them on both sides. Um, like it's not double sided. It's like there's two separate uh, square photo cards in here. Um, and then Palace again. So this is what I got out of my Palace album or albums for Espa. Um, and then we get into Girls. And again, I did the front and back. So there's actually two in these sleeves, not just one. Um, I think a couple of these are. I think one of them is a Target exclusive poster, I think. Um, then we got, what's this again, Express. Um, and then I actually do not know what these are. I think these might be folded posters. Um, we're just gonna leave them there because I can't be bothered right now because this video is already at an hour long. At least my recording is at an hour long. Um, then we got, Come on, work with me here. Um, then we got Savage, large postcards here. Very nice, that's a group one right there. Um, and then we got Blackpink. So we move into Jisoo. These, this is all the inclusions I got for me. And then these are the larger inclusions from the two Lisa photo books that I got. And then these are from the Weverse um, membership kit. Couple postcards right there. This is from the album. Actually, all of these are from the album. Um, and then this is also from the album. This is my... Oh, I actually don't have anything up here. Interesting. Uh, this is my one Chunga Polaroid. And then I have some Got the Beat stuff back here. So... Taeyeon and Winter, and then I got Sogi, Taeyeon, and Winter. Um, I think I pulled Taeyeon and Winter in my two albums because I only bought two albums. And this Sogi, I think I got like with a photo card and an order, like off of Bai or something. Um, so that's cool. And then these are a couple Les Seraphim large inclusions that I got from the Unforgiven album. And that is complete. That is everything. That is everything that I have in my collection right now, other than the photo cards sitting up there in my sorting tray. That's basically everything. Um, so I'll bring maybe a couple binders back in the frame and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so that was my full photo card collection and my full large inclusion collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit rambly, but you know, I tried to like speed things up a little bit as much as I could um, in certain areas. And I'll probably, you know, chop a lot of this, you know, extra dead air out. I'll edit it definitely for sure. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed talking about my collection. Um, if you guys have collections and you want to talk about them in the comments, feel free to go for it. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. My next video will probably be an Everglow unboxing uh, sometime in the near future. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.